Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a deep dive on batteries, specifically batteries for astronomy. And we're not talking about small little batteries that maybe just powers a mount for a while. We're talking about batteries that supply at least 500 watt hours of power so you can run a laptop and a mount and a cooled camera for a good 12 hours on a cold night. So let's have a look and let's get started. At first glance, there's a bewildering array of options for serious astronomers looking to deliver AC and DC power to a dark site. For inclusion in this comparison, I developed three basic criteria. They must supply 12 volts DC, USB ports, and 110 volt AC ports. Must have a minimum of 500 watt hours capacity. And then I want to optimize for the minimum weight, size, and price per watt. I've owned batteries in this class from Jackery and from EcoFlow. The first serious battery I had like this was a Jackery 500. I bought it in 2020 and it supplied 500 watt hours. I had a problem with it a year later and it was promptly replaced with no questions. Great service by Jackery. After three years of occasional use, it dropped suddenly from 64% charge to zero. It really no longer holds a full charge. It also does not have astronomy compatible, meaning 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter DC jacks. You have to use a car adapter if you want to use the DC. Not the end of the world, but one more adapter you have to remember. The current model Jackery, which is the Explorer 600 Plus, is a good battery, but I don't think it's as good a value compared to EcoFlow or All Powers, as we'll see soon. Next one I had was the EcoFlow River Pro. This has been discontinued, although you can still buy some of them on the web. I did another analysis in September 21 and purchased an EcoFlow River Pro. This is 720 watt hours. It's been very reliable, a great value. It charges eight times faster than my Jackery. I've used it well over a thousand times and it's still going strong. I can double its capacity with an expansion battery and I did that and it has two DC ports compatible with standard jacks as well as USB and AC ports. I have multiple batteries because I've had all night imaging sessions with four telescope mounts and imaging cameras and a power hungry Dell i9 processor laptop. So I've needed to more than 1500 watt hours for a 12 hour session. Because my Jackery is no longer holding a charge, I wanted to replace its capacity and I decided to do a full analysis of available alternatives. All Powers. I really like the R1500 from All Powers and I almost bought it. I think you should consider it if you want a ton of capacity. It's an excellent value and provides one of the best dollars per watt. I ended up choosing another EcoFlow instead, mostly because the All Powers is particularly heavy at 37 pounds, but it's an excellent alternative and worthy of consideration. I've also included Anchor, Blue Eddy, and Dabson in my comparison matrix for thoroughness. However, compared to my top alternatives, they don't really have any compelling astronomy-related advantages, so I'm not recommending them. Aptura is included here because it's the only battery designed specifically for astronomy applications. But a glance at the comparison table shows that it is way behind the other suppliers when you look at charging cycles, battery technology, charging time, warranty, and dollars per watt. I really can't recommend it. By the way, I would really appreciate it if you could please click the subscribe button. It really helps me with the algorithm. So I decided to go with EcoFlow. I've had great experience with it and their current models are terrific. I almost bought the Delta II. It's on sale at the moment and it's got an amazing dollars per watt and is one of the few in the comparison to deliver over a kilowatt of power. If I didn't already own two other 720 watt hour batteries in good condition, I would have bought this one. This is the battery that I chose most recently, the EcoFlow River 2 Pro 700. It's got a great display. It shows the amount of hours you have left based on the current draw, which at the moment is nothing, no current draw and then the percent battery left, and then the input power being used and the output power. It's got three USB-A ports. It's got a USB-C port. It's got four AC ports, and it's got three 
DC ports, which of course I use for astronomy, the standard cigarette lighter, which can deliver 10 amps, and then each of these two small ports, which can deliver three amps each. The uh, battery is flat on the top, so you can stack things on top of it. It's got a handle, and then at the back of the battery, not shown, is the AC input, as well as you can charge it from your car cigarette lighter, which is a pretty cool. So you could top yours up on the way to a dark site, for example. I had a look at all the batteries, and this is the one that I chose for my latest purchase. The only thing it does not have that my old battery has is there's no light on the front, which occasionally was useful when I'm packing up, assuming there are no other astronomers around. I could use the white light to see what was going on. But of course, most of us have headlamps we can use, so not that important an issue. So there you have it. Black Friday sales are on as I write this, and there are some great values to be had that may not last long. I provided links to my top picks in the notes. Remember, when you're out in the dark, you can never have too much power. I've experienced my telescope mounts and cameras suddenly shutting off at 3 a.m. because I was underpowered for the night. Don't let that happen to you. Hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.